What's up everyone, this is Kantanaka Wish for Fish, and in this video, I am on the way to Mosquito Lagoon, Florida to fish for redfish with Tanner Sievert, and I'm also gonna be with Noah Stuttered. Head north toward Knuckles Road. What's up? It's a power 95 treatment. <laughs> Boring. Calling Noah Studded. Mobile. Yeah, it's saying I've got four hours and 23 minutes. All right, so here I am at the Quality Inn, and uh, let me show you inside. Oh, yes. This is our premium accommodation. The kitchen area, the Yeti. Awesome bathroom, of course. Here we have the media section here. Charging area. Oh, yeah. Like, BAM! Like, damn tractor, boy! I am back at Mosquito Lagoon. I've been coming here since 2018, and I am back with Tanner Sievert, and he is with Orlando on the fly. Luckily, on the first day, Tanner's friend JD Swafford joined us for the day, and Noah jumped on his boat, and we both had a boat to ourselves. On the first day that we were there, we had north winds and it pushed in a lot of water. The water was super high. Matter of fact, it was the highest that it's been in a very long time, as you could see from USGS. But not only that, but it was super dirty, so we were spooking fish or they couldn't see it. And we just ran into a lot of problems that day. And mostly they just weren't eating the fly. I don't see him anymore, do you? You see him? Yep. Oh, there he is. What? How? How is he missing those? Where is he? Oh, there he is. I see him. Damn it. Oh my God, I slid that right past his face. Is he facing the right? Yeah. Oof, God, he's just sitting there so still though. Should I lead him to that other bush? Oh, he turned around. What? So on the second day, Noah jumped in our boat and we did manage to see some fish. Well, let me rewind that actually. Noah got to see some fish, but they still weren't cooperating, they weren't biting, and we did get cut short when the rain came in. No? Why? Oh! Wait, 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 wait. Right. Oh. Yeah. Perfect. 
Did he? This was our last day to get it done. The water level was looking much better. We had north winds that pushed all the water out, so it was looking good. God, what in the hell was that? Go back, go back. Oh. All right, so the first day we had high water and we saw a lot of fish, but they just were not biting. And second day we had rain and saw hardly any fish. But finally today we're seeing fish and they're being cooperative, so it's looking good. Yeah, oh, there he is. Yeah. Oh, there he is again. There he is. I've ever had to work for a redfish. Drop that. For the left. For the left. Yeah, leave that. That looks what it said. Fish is swimming towards. I don't have Let it sit. Start hopping it. Snipe, snipe. 
Yes, well done, Noah. Good job. Yes. Good job. How did it feel? Let's go. <laughs> What's up everyone? Thank you very much for watching. If you like what you saw, please do like, share, or comment below. Don't forget to check out our website at wishforfish.com and if you're on social media, give us a follow at Wish for Fish. Now, I was hoping for a couple of those lights out double digit days, which I've had before at Mosquito Lagoon. And if you're interested in seeing some of those videos, you could check that out in one of my previous trips. But the weather came in, the water was high, and you really just can't help uh, the weather. And we did have one of those average four fish days at the very end, but getting skunked for the first couple of days really killed my expectations. And that's one thing that I do suggest if you're looking to book a salt trip is book a couple of days. I know that it's kind of easy to say than do, but uh, weather like this does come in and if you're booking this trip that you're planning and you're booking one day and it's a crap one, you're out of luck. So uh, I would at least try to book two days. Maybe you could get one good one out of it. And if you're lucky, you could get two good ones. If you're interested in booking a trip with Tanner Sievert and Orlando on the fly, his contact information will be in the description box below. Now on this trip, I was using an eight weight Thomas and Thomas Sexton along with an Able SDS. And I did pair it up with an Airflow Gulf Redfish line. Now I also did have this uh, row set up with the new 2.0 a power taper, but I was gonna test it out, and the last thing I wanted to do was mess around with some kind of line uh, and getting skunk for the first couple of days. Just wasn't a good timing for it, and hopefully I'll get out on the water next time with it. So, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you on the water.